In May 1998, as the desert winds swept over the barren peaks of Chagi, a phone rang in Islamabad. President Clinton on the line, urging Nawaz Sharif to hold back. Nawaz, please don't do this, otherwise there will be consequences. But Pakistan had waited long enough. A covert mission was set in motion, not in defiance, but in defense. Every step was calculated. The transportation of nuclear devices across Pakistan was timed precisely between the passes of American reconnaissance satellites overhead. When the skies were blind, convoys moved, trucks without markings, guarded by elite commandos. A C-130, carrying nuclear components, flew under heavy guard, flanked by four F-16s with one grim order. If it attempted to leave Pakistani airspace, bring it down. Radios were off, And once airborne, even commands from HQ were to be ignored. Deep within the granite belly of Rasko Hills, scientists from PAEC and KRL worked under crushing silence. The tunnel was L-shaped, a kilometer long, with five separate zero rooms dug into the side walls. On May 25th, Dr. Samar Mubarakmand walked five kilometers through the stifling tunnel, inspecting every wire and charge. Once satisfied, the Pakistan Army's 5th Corps, aided by the Engineering Corps, FWO, and Special Development Works, sealed the tunnel using 6,000 bags of cement. By May 26th, the cement had set. A day later, engineers gave the go-ahead. The message was sent the site was ready. Before dawn on May 28th, Pakistan severed seismic links to the outside world. Military and strategic units went on high alert. F-16s and F-7s stood ready on the runway. By morning, Ground Zero was cleared. Men moved to the observation post, 10 kilometers away. By 1.30 p.m., final checks were complete. And prayers offered. At 2.30, a helicopter brought Dr. Ishfaq Ahmed Dr. A.Q. Khan, senior scientists, and General Zulfikar Ali. At three o'clock, the last truck passed. The site was locked. The all clear was given.
a young scientist, Mohammed Ershed, designer of the trigger, was chosen. He recited Bismillah, and the button was pressed. <laughs>